Well, it's not even Thanksgiving yet, and some beautiful preseason ski shots there. Love it. The snow making is going hard at Anatash. I'd like to welcome Doug Tulin for the first time to the RSN Live Show. Welcome. Thanks, Kelly. It's great to be here. Well, I'm glad to have you. Let's talk about you first, because uh, we'll get to Anatash in a couple minutes. But talk to me, how long have you been on board, and where did you come from? Well, I started with Atash in the middle of August. Okay. Um, for six, seven years before that, I was doing marketing consulting out of my home business in uh, Vermont. For that, a little time with Okemo and originally coming out here from uh, Beaver Creek, Colorado. Now, in Beaver Creek, though, you were part of a synchro skiing team. Tell me more about that. Well, synchro skiing is eight skier formations. Some of the guys may go off a jump and then come back in. It's done with a soundtrack. And in the heyday of the event out at the World Championships at Vail, you might see... 30, 35 teams from all over the world, Austria, That's France, amazing. wherever. Like, do you have coaches that do the, you know, the choreography and the music and stuff like that? Now, what was your specialty? Were you like a spinner? Did you go off the jumps? What was your, like, this is mine? No, the jumps weren't really my thing. Yeah. Um, I used to ski out in front and just kind of set the tempo, nice. uh, turn shape and rhythm yeah. for the rest of the team. Well, very cool. And you had success. How many times did you win? Uh, we managed to win that four times. Four times. And that's world championship? Yep. That's amazing. So teams from all over the world come right to Colorado. You guys competed, you won four times, and now you bring in all that experience from the ski industry from out west, and you mentioned Okemo, mm -hmm. and your personal uh, business in Vermont, right here to Atatash, right in our backyard. So I'm glad to see that, because you know skiing. So let's talk about Atatash. Uh, what was it about Atatash that drew you in? Well, it's, it's a phenomenal setup. You've got Twin Peaks. You've got an, an absolutely amazing snowmaking system, 98% coverage. You know, it's a great advantage when El Nino starts playing tricks on the skiing world in the east. You know, as this weather shows us, you never know what you're going to get, and absolutely. we're well prepared for that. Yeah, in the northeast, you do have to have a firm grasp of snowmaking. And you guys have already, we saw pictures earlier of the snowmaking. Uh, you guys fired up, uh, what day did you fire up? We got the guns going on Wednesday, oh, ran them again on Thursday. Um, obviously, Mother Nature is not cooperating sure. a little bit. but Well, I uh, think it's almost just to get the adrenaline going, getting people set, you know, for the upcoming season because uh, it is right around the corner and one of the trademarks of that is the Boston Ski Show which is coming right up I believe the dates are November 19th through the 22nd at the Bayside Convention Center down in Boston and that pretty much kicks off the 09 2010 ski season. Well it really does I mean on uh, you know over four days in Boston you're going to see 40,000 50,000 people come through those doors pretty much every major resort in the east is there a lot of western resorts Canadian resorts equipment suppliers ski market. Um, I mean, if you're into skiing and riding at all, it's definitely the place to be to get fired up for the season. And what can we find right at the Atatash booth? Uh, we're going to have a variety of things from information on all our programs, um, lo logoed products for giveaways oh, from fun. lanyards to the padded Velcro luggage handles, t-shirts, you name it. And we're also very fortunate to have some great sponsors on board with us. Okay. Uh, Keen Footwear, Transpac Gear Bags, Chaos Hats. You may even see some product from Smith, and they've all been really supportive of our efforts. Great. So you're going to be giving gear away. It's also a chance for people to buy discounted Atatash, uh discount cards um, where they can save a lot of money. And this is something that they can do down here, but not all the time. This is something that's exclusive, right? That's true. It's a one-time deal. Um, you can buy a $100 gift card for $75. You can buy a $50 gift card for $40. And like you said, it's a one-time deal. Got to be at the Boston Show to take advantage of that. That's great because you know if you're skiing, you either want to get a season pass, you want to take you guys up on these discounted cards because you're just going to save a lot of money. You can also do it by, uh, I think it's 48 hours in advance by going online. You can also save money uh, if you buy your ski tickets there. Right. You just go to the Atatash website and click on the uh, e-tickets page mm -hmm. and 48 hours in advance. There's a whole price chart right there so you can take a look and see mm -hmm. what the deals are for one day, two days or more. Absolutely. So a lot of fun. So moving from Boston up to Bartlett now, uh, you guys have done, continued to improve Atatash, uh, amazingly so. We talked about snowmaking. You guys laid new pipe. 2,000 feet of new pipe for this year, and we added yet another 30 snow guns to 
complement the millions of dollars we've already spent over the last couple of years to build what we consider to be about the most powerful snowmaking system in the state. That's awesome. And then down in the base lodge, you, you're planning and are in the process of making some huge improvements. Uh, Tarmacan's Pub is getting a facelift. You're also working on Bear Peak Lodge, correct? That's correct. It's been painted, some remodeling. You know, the roof's been sealed off, everything. It looks fantastic. Good, and ready to go. Oh, uh, we can't wait for the season. It's <laughs> going to be a great year. Now, have you actually skied on Atatash slopes before? Is it, will this be your first time? I haven't been on Atatash okay. for so many years, I can't remember when. Right. Um, I went with my family when, in the old days when they used to host Women's World Cup. Sure, and yes, we didn't absolutely. ski a lot in those days because we were too busy watching the races. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Because it was the only time they came to the East. Yeah, absolutely. And you are in the ski, you know, racing world, too, with the uh, skiing, synchro skiing. Um, but I'm looking forward to seeing your impression because Atatash, it really does have the two separate mountain peaks and one's more of a wide open, exactly. um, you know, snowboarders love it. And then on the other peak of Atatash, you have the classic New England, a uh, little bit more narrow trails, a little bit steeper, and it's awesome. I love it. Well, the, really the, the diversity there is phenomenal. I mean, whether you're a mom and dad with two little kids who needs a ski school program, you've got Nate Waterhouse running a fantastic program in the ski schools there. If you're more of a big mountain skier mm -hmm. and you decide, you know, the economy being what it is, I'm staying a little closer to home. Atatash has got steeps, 30 acres of glades. I mean, there's something for everybody there. We've definitely got it all covered. It is so much fun. And now you've got racers covered, too. So let's move to the brand new racing league. Now, tell me about this. What, who came up with the concept? Well, this is the brainchild of Corey Madden, okay. um, who's our race and events manager, does a great job. And the way it's going to work is it's going to be on Tuesdays. Um, you get two runs per day. Two runs. Very two good. runs, not one. It's going to run on spillway. Nice long run with a little, uh, little pitch to it. Great. Um, reasonable prices. It's going to go roughly from January 5th to March 2nd. And we're really excited about this because this is a first in the 45-year history of Atatash. I think this will be so great for uh, locals, one, because Tuesday, a lot of a ski midweek. You can get every Tuesday skiing for $150. And then if you have bought a season pass, it's even less expensive. That's true. If you hold a pass, it's only $75 if you've already paid for your That's season amazing. pass. Yeah. If you haven't but you want to ski on Atatash, $150 includes your race runs uh, every Tuesday. And you've got access to the entire resort for skiing or riding. Well, fantastic. I think this is going to be just real appealing to the true racers out there, too, because you talked about a little bit steeper. You get two runs. You know, it's going to get those racers competitive juices running, I'm sure. I think so. And, you know, Corey's already hard at work at lining up mm -hmm. sponsors, both local merchants as well as people in the industry maybe bringing some new beer vendors on board. Um, I mean, everything's falling into place much faster than we expected, and uh, we're, we're really looking forward to it. Well, fantastic. Now, Doug, is there anything that we missed that you wanted to get out there for the upcoming season? No, just really come see us down in Boston. We're going to have a great time. Dan Egan's going to come down and spend a little time with us on Friday at the Atatash booth and uh, talk skiing with anybody who wants to chat it up with somebody from, you know, the big mountain movie world. Absolutely. And uh, right. we even expect to see him out on the hill with us a little bit this year. Oh, good. Excellent. Okay, so the Boston Ski Show again is November 19th through the 22nd at the Bayside Convention Center. Does it cost to get into the doors or do you walk in... It's, uh, it's $12 okay. at the door. Oh. If you go to our website, however, there is a link there to the uh, website where you can download a coupon for $2 off on that oh. as well. Fantastic. You're just full of the deals. <laughs> <Well>. <laughs> We're trying. You know, we want to make sure it's an experience that people remember when they make the effort to come see us and that they feel that they walked away having had a good time and being rewarded for, uh, for being out of Tash fans. Well, I think you've accomplished that. Doug, thanks so much. It was a pleasure meeting you, and I look forward to having you back on the show a lot this winter. Thanks, Guy. I look forward to being here. All right, and folks, for you, you can find out more about this great mountain, actually two mountain peaks, online at adatash.com. Great website, easy to eat.